Check one two, check one two. What is up, guys? Your also boy Kagi back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Pixel Heroes on your PC. It's actually very, very simple. So let's walk you right through it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you guys want to stay up to date with everything crypto gaming. And make sure you guys check us out at juicesoonest.io. Sign up to our newsletter. So you guys stay up to date with everything happening in crypto gaming. Now, let's get right into the video. All right, so playing Pixel Heroes or any other game on your PC is actually very, very simple. So I'm going to walk you right through it. This application is called Bluestacks App Player. You basically download this application. And once you download this application, you can actually log in with your Google Play Store account and download the games that you guys want to play on PC. In this case... We are playing Pixel Heroes, so very, very simple. Now you're gonna go to bluestack.com, you're gonna go to the download section, and you got Bluestacks 5 and Bluestacks 4. I downloaded Bluestacks 5, I downloaded the 64 bit right here for my PC. Maybe um, if it doesn't work for 64, maybe try 32. Just try different ones in case it doesn't work. This is optimized for Windows 11, which I have. Um, and maybe if Bluestacks 5 doesn't work, then try Bluestack 4. Same thing, 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, I had to test a little bit. Um, Bluestack 4s didn't want to work for me, and then I had to download Bluestack 5. So just test if it doesn't work for you. Now, something very, very important, you need to activate on your PC a setting called virtualization in BIOS. So because I have MSI, I have an MSI motherboard, then it's gonna look like this for me. You might have something different. So just look for BIOS and look for your motherboard so you can see where the setting is at. For If you have an MSI and it looks like this, it's actually very simple. For example, this video walks you right through it. You go to settings um, and it's called SVM mode and you're going to enable this in your BIOS. If you guys don't know what a BIOS is, it's basically the settings for your motherboard. Um, and basically you have to tap into it by restarting your PC. You will know if you don't have virtualization once you open your BlueStacks, it will tell you enable it. If you already have it enabled, most likely some PCs already come with this enabled. And if you have used other applications that need this before, maybe you have it enabled already. But if you don't, it's actually very, very simple. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go cl click recovery. Then you're going to go to advanced startup, click restart, then troubleshoot, then click advanced options and select UEFI firmware settings. And once you do that, then it's going to restart you into the BIOS, which is the settings for your motherboard. So very, very simple. You're going to go right here. I can't show you the full process because... Um, Obviously, I won't be able to record. Go to system. You're going to go to recovery. You're going to go to advanced setup and you're going to hit restart now. Once you restart now, you're going to see some settings and you're going to follow this right here. You restart now and then it's going to pop up troubleshoot. Then click advanced options and select UEFI firmware settings. And inside your BIOS, you're going to change um, your virtualization settings to enabled. Now, once you have everything enabled, you're going to search for the app, which is Pixel Heroes Adventures. You're going to go Pixel Heroes Adventures. Boom. Once you do this, it's going to ask you, um, once you find it right here, you see, you're going to find it. Boom. I already have it installed, of course. And it's going to ask you to log in to your Google account that you use on every other phone that you have. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you right here is how to keybind your keyboard so basically you see right here that you move with this joystick and if you want to move with your mouse you can do it and just click on this but this is kind of uncomfortable right here so you want to put wasd and it's actually very very simple you're going to go to game controls right here you're going to see this little tab um you're going to go controls editor and you're going to see the d-pad I already put the D-pad over this and you can en enlarge it or you can, you know, put it to the size of the joystick, which is what I did. And also you can add a button right here. Um, any button you want, it could be space bar. It could be on your mouse and this is going to allow you to dash, right? So right now I can use my keyboard. Let, let me get out. I'm going to discard the settings because I already have them. So I'm going to go ahead. WASD, as you can see, I'm moving with my keyboard. 
and then my dash button is on my mouse so i can just dash and click on my mouse you can put on your spacebar if you want it's very very simple very very simple so once you do that you're ready to go and play this game on the pc very very nice to be honest i think this game should do this natively because a lot of people want to play on pc and this is gonna allow the game to run better instead of sometimes crashing through this app